So I think the face is completed now. Uh, of course, we can keep going on with this for hours, but um, yeah, actually, we'll we'll keep doing some. We'll keep doing a bit more actually. Just paint out the part where the eyebrows will be. Oh wait, sorry, I haven't even done the eyes yet. Okay, so just paint that, and then may I might just go ahead and paint a bit more of the forehead. And then add in a smooth brush to smooth things a bit. And then I, what I want to do is I want to add in uh, a flattened contrast. And then just move it up a little bit. Might also add a bit of a flat area here as well. looking good. We need to add in the, the actual eyelids, so I forgot about that. For that I'm going to use the blob brush. And then after you add in the blob brush, just simply choose the size about where, what you want the eyelids to be. And I'm just going to simply, um, it might be bigger than that, simply paint in the eyelids. So I might just add something like that. And then the bottom, just fill that like so. So you get something that looks like that. And then I'm just going to smooth it out a little. Okay. He's looking a little s petrified, in my opinion. So let's just add it. Let's just make the top eyelid a little bit, a little bit more prominent. I think that's good enough. That's cute. Okay, so I think that's good enough. Just throw in, add in a crease brush. Just further define that, that boundary there and there. I think that's good enough. All right, and then just to smooth, then keep smoothing out a little bit more until you get a, a result that looks like that. From the side view, it doesn't look quite right. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add in the blob brush again, and just increase. Oops. And then just uh, make the height of the top eyelid a bit more prominent. Again, you can also do this with your mouse, so just keep using the smooth brush and um, the blob brush to get that eye shape. And make sure you encase your eye nicely. Okay, um, Okay. so to finally complete this um, cartoony character, I'm going to save my work again. We need to, there's obviously one important... Um, anatomical feature that is missing from our character and that's the ears so we're going to go ahead and just literally draw the ears in so i'm going to go ahead and change this brush to a draw brush because i tend to find that the draw brush is the most easiest to actually quickly define the the ears for the character so let's just turn this size down quite a bit and let's just draw the eye. height of the ears tends to be around the size of the eyes all the way to the bottom of the mouth or, or the bottom of the nose uh, I don't really know what it is, but for this case, I want to cheat a little bit and just do it how I want to do it. So I'll start around about the size of the eyes and just keep it around there. 
it's a cartoon character, so I can quite I can get away with it. In terms of the the vertical positioning, it tends to be halfway. So from here to here and here to here should generally be quite be quite equal. So I think where I've placed it should be good enough. I think it's all right where I've placed it. Actually, no, I think I placed it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, so just keep drawing a few times in the same area. That kind of a shape. And then you should start to have ears. And obviously that ear is not 100% correct. So this is where it can get a bit messy. I always just use a grab brush and then literally just push the ears back. push it back same from this view as well just push it back so it looks like that um, I really hate ears when it comes to 3d modeling or sculpting it's always so messy okay and then after that it's just literally a case of uh, pressing control and just cutting through so that you get that inner part of the ear like so, and then pressing the inflate brush just to make this part here fatter. And I'll, I'll also use a snake hook brush to literally grab out, oops, to literally grab out uh, this part and maybe add in a slight earlobe. Just a slight. Okay. Um, needs more inflation. Don't be afraid to exaggerate. It is a cartoon character. And then I'm just going to smooth everything out just to even things out. So remember to smooth a lot because um, it is an organic character, and obviously when it comes to sculpting, our hands aren't perfect. So this the smooth smoothing brush can can really help to put things back in order okay and clay strips brush Oops. Let's cut an area like so Yeah, and that's about as much as how I'm going to detail the ears. I, I mean, if you want, you can go ahead and add in those little um, anatomical details. Like, um, just from what I've learned from anatomy, you, you can go ahead and do something like that. Add that bit in there, make the strength a little bit stronger. And then add in that bit like that. But, I, I mean, it's really up to you. If you want to do that, I tend to stay away from doing that kind of stuff. Because a cartoony character doesn't need that much detail. So when it comes to Pixar characters, I think I can just get away with, you know, doing something like that. And creating sort of this kind of an S shape. Something like that, and then over here, just cutting in a little bit of a sh place for the eardrums. And that should be good enough. So, yeah, if you want to draw a little S, a lightning kind of an S shape, then that should be good enough this case okay so that's it with the ears so we've now completed our character remember that we, 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 we've been working in orthographic mode so change it to perspective mode by pressing numpad 5 on your keyboard and look from all angles does it look all right because the final model if, if you're gonna make a movie or a game or whatever uh, the camera will only see it in perspective mode 
so make sure it always looks good in that view as well so at this point it's looking okay So after some further tweaking, um, I want to go ahead and call this one done. I don't really care too much about the feet, uh, but if you want to go ahead and tweak the feet as well, then you know I suggest you go ahead and do that. And that's it. So um, you can continue to polish the, the model as much as you like. I'm just going to go ahead and say call this one done because uh, I'm trying to just create a character as quick as possible. And I've sort of got the overall shape, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with that one. Um, yeah, so... You should now have a model that will pretty much represent your your final cartoony character. I mean, it's not the one that you're going to go ahead and animate with, but it sort of should look like your final character at this point. So, that's it. You should now have a model that will pretty much represent the final thing. In the next video, we will set this model up so that it will be good for texturing, rigging, and ultimately animating through a technique called retopology. As mentioned earlier, if you want to get all the 3D models and assets from this series, head over to this link and just download it straight away. So please like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.